We're going to talk about right now what happens in a circuit when an armature pulls in in a relay. So here we have a relay with our, our core, our coil, and then our armature. So what happens when we apply a voltage across our coil, our armature is going to pull in. What's going to change is we will turn the core into an electromagnet which will pull in our armature. Very few things change in the actual circuit itself, but one thing that will change is our inductance. So we have this formula here. We know our inductance equals the number of turns squared, the permeability of the core, the area of the core, and the length of magnetic field. Well, what happened is we actually shortened this length of magnetic field. By shortening that length of magnetic field, our inductance has an inverse relationship and it's going to go up. So what we see happen, because it's an AC circuit, is when our inductance goes up, our inductive reactance is actually going to go up as well. So we're going to see more opposition to that current flow. Well, in that case, we can say that if I equals our voltage over our inductive reactance in that circuit, if our XL goes up, our current is going to be going down. What we also see is in our power, our resistance of the circuit doesn't change. It's still just the resistance of the windings. But because our current goes down, we also see less power dissipated in the circuit. Hope that helps clear up what happens when you pull in an armature in an AC circuit. Thanks.